My name is Morton Lordson. I'm a distinguished professor of composition at the Thornton School of Music at the University of Southern California. I've been associated with this university both as a student and a faculty for now 52 years. And I'm happy to talk with you today. I'll tell you, when I received the National Medal of Arts, which completely caught me off guard, only the eighth classical composer ever to receive this great honor. And of course, President Sample was very pleased with this. And I told him, I, I said, hey, look, Steve, I not only teach here, I'm a product of this thing. I came down here as a completely clean slate and was very, very well taught. And that's a reflection on this great university. To be here all these years, I've seen so many changes. I've been part of that. I chaired the composition department for a dozen years. This is 52 years now since I came down here. The faculty in the School of Music was distinguished when I came down here. It continues to be. Of course, the curriculum has broadened a great deal. Uh, we have our wonderful popular music program now. In a sense, I was in the forefront of that, too, because I, I taught the first songwriting class here. I established that. I went out and I posted paper, uh, flyers all over the campus. How would you like to learn about songwriting? You don't have to be a music major to do that. So I had physicists and dentists and everybody else show up for that thing. And then it morphed into to other things, and now Patrice runs it. And uh, the, the school has certainly broadened its offerings. The student body here continues to be fabulous. It's a composer's dream to come here because you get your performances not only in the chamber groups, uh, individual players, but we have a program for the orchestra can do it, and the choir does it, and the symphonic band does it. So I'm, I feel very proud to have been part of this whole process and to add something to it all these years. The university, of course, has blossomed. It's highly selective throughout the university under the great leadership especially of Stephen Sample for 20 years and then President Nikias at, at the moment. It is thrilling for me to have seen it happen over half a century and to have been provided the opportunity as a creative artist myself to have been given the time to create and to use the fabulous resources in the School of Music to premiere my works as the USC Chamber Singers did with the Midwinter Songs and the Madrigali and other works, to work with the voice faculty, to have pieces done by um, gifted uh, instrumentalists of all kinds. So it continues to be a top-notch school musically and, and now in every other area as well. I mean, as anyone knows Everywhere I go, look, I, as I said, I've done more than 100 residencies. Everywhere I go, people talk about what's happened to USC in the last 30 years, 25 years. And it's leadership at the top that has done that. I remember, uh, I'm a member of a group of, the, of distinguished professors, and it's a small group of people. And Nikias meeting with us for lunch before he took the reins as president, but after he had been selected saying one of, one of the things he wanted to do for this university was to hire the 50 best minds he can in the world. 50 best minds of people who still had a lot to offer, like we're in sort of mid-career that have already made a mark and we're going to continue. So he goes out and hires a Nobel Prize winning physicist first. And then Dana Joya was the second one, and he's continued down the line with that. That's just thrilling especially to go to meetings with that particular group where George Orla has got a Nobel Prize in physics, you know, clink, 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 and as we're diving into our Waldorf salads, he wants to know the meaning of the scientific proof of truth. <laughs> and off we go. The, 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 the philosophers, the biologists, the artists, the English people, we're just all at it. There's no small talk. It's a vibrant place. It's a radiant place. I've had two, two of my sons come here. One's in business and came back for an MBA now. And he's got a fabulous career ahead of him with a consulting firm, firm L.E.K. And 
My son Peter is out doing uh, creative work and sound design and all that, all because of the instruction they got at this place. And you see what happens with our graduates of all majors. Making a dent. So the School of Music, the oldest school, founded in 1880, continues to blossom and flourish with brilliant faculty, gifted students. It's been a joy for me to watch this happen. And you have to imagine, you know, it's very vivid in my mind, starting out from scratch. all those years ago.